Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be exploring one of the more unusual galaxies in the vicinity of our own Milky Way, part of the so-called Council of Giants. In this video we're going to be talking about this beautiful galaxy you see on the screen known as M82. Welcome to What the Math. So this is actually what this galaxy looks like in Space Engine, and we're going to discuss um, its unusual shape and its unusual features. But first, what is Council of Giants, also known as Council of Twelve? There are actually 12 galaxies that are really large in the vicinity of the Milky Way um, at this particular location right here. And this is what we call Council of Giants. The distance here is between about 10 million to about 20 million light years, and I've actually already covered um, a few of these galaxies. Uh, and the video for one of them you can actually find somewhere right here above my head. But uh, the idea here is that there are actually 12 really giant galaxies that are kind of summarized right here, and each of them is quite unique, each of them is gigantic, probably has a variety of its own mysteries um, and possibly even life. And uh, most importantly, these are within 10 to 20 million light years away from us. And in terms of size and in terms of the actual mass, they're very similar to our own galaxy and very similar to the Andromeda. Today we're going to be talking about this one right here. And this is actually what this galaxy looks like if you were to use a telescope and to try to find it. Now, this galaxy is absolutely incredible. It's very beautiful. And it has a very mysterious and very kind of unusual signal coming out of it, specifically a radio signal that we still couldn't really explain. So it's actually a galaxy that's technically full of mysteries and full of really unusual events. Now, first of all, this particular galaxy is actually known as the Starburst Galaxy. And the reason it's called Starburst is because there's actually quite a lot of stars that are being created there right now approximately 10 times more uh, on average than in our own Milky Way. And you can see this creation right here, this beautiful, unusual sort of protrusion from both sides of the galaxy is, um, well, really the result of this starburst activity. As a matter of fact, in Space Engine, there's even a location known as M82 starburst region that you can go to, and it just shows you this beautiful, absolutely incredible, protrusion that you can also see right here from both sides of the galaxy. Now, these are not actually formed by the supermassive black hole. They are formed from tremendous amount of supernova. Essentially, various supernova that occurred here millions of years ago uh, dispersed the material all over the galaxy from the actual starburst region that's in the middle. And for the most part, all of this gas, which is usually hydrogen, that's why it's red, uh, spread all across the galaxy, but um, because of the way that the gas is usually absorbed by other parts of the galaxy, this is the only region where you can actually still see it. And so as a result, we get these two beautiful and very unusual lobes coming um, out of it. But at the same time, this galaxy actually does have a very unusual and very mysterious radio source, as I mentioned. It's kind of like um, a typical X-ray source or a typical gamma ray source that we usually expect from a, a very powerful black hole. But in this case, it's a radio source and we've never actually seen anything similar to it. So as a matter of fact, uh, coming from within this starburst region, but not actually from the center of the galaxy, so not from the black hole, uh, that is not from a supermassive black hole, um, there is an unusual radio source that's um, so powerful and, and so unusual that um, we actually have absolutely no way of explaining it right now. It also seems to travel at about four times the speed of light, which actually suggests that it's experiencing what's known as a light echo. It's a superluminal signal. In other words, um, it's a signal that moves across the galaxy, and as it moves across, it interacts with the gas inside the galaxy, and the reflection appears to travel faster than the speed of light. It's actually a concept that's, um, well, it needs its own video. I'm going to explain it in one of the future videos. But for now, what you need to know is that it's most likely caused by a very powerful um, entity, most likely an intermediate black hole. That's actually one of the better explanations right now. But it's the only black hole that we've seen so far that seems to produce radio waves. 
those radio waves also only started to occur um, only a few years ago, and they have been for the more uh, for the most part very stable, very sort of very steady in their spectrum and also in their frequency. And what's interesting is that um, we don't really expect this kind of a behavior from a typical uh, black hole. So there's definitely something really powerful creating a lot of a lot of radio waves right here, uh, close to the center of the galaxy. And since we've detected it uh, back in 2010, uh, we still haven't really had a chance to explain it really well. And interestingly, we've actually also been detecting uh, supernova here, and we think that approximately one supernova um, per 10 years happens here pretty regularly. And uh, the supernova that we actually got to study quite extensively occurred in 2014. As a matter of fact, this was the closest ever type 1a supernova that we've detected so far close to our planet Earth. And that's of course when a um, object such as a white dwarf explodes and creates a tremendous amount of energy. And here's actually the location of that supernova and uh, when we detected it, it specifically was around January 31st of 2014 and it was visible right there in this particular region of the galaxy. Now, at only about 12 million light years away from our planet Earth, this is actually the closest starburst galaxy and at the same time, um, a very, very unusual galaxy as well. We haven't really seen uh, starburst galaxies that had similar lobes or similar shape at all. And we think that it has this unusual property because it interacted with the nearby galaxy of M81. The uh, M81 galaxy is actually right there, very close to this one. And if I were to kind of look at them from a distance, it would look something like this. And so we think that um, M81 essentially provided quite a lot of material for this one, M82, and um, this material is now responsible for creating the most active starburst galaxy relatively close to our planet Earth. Now, the actual luminosity of this galaxy because of this starburst activity is extremely, extremely bright. It's about five times brighter than our own Milky Way, and because it was so bright, uh, we actually didn't really know that this was a spiral galaxy until only a few years ago. When scientists looked at this galaxy, it looked like an irregular shaped galaxy to them. It didn't actually have any shape. But then they looked at it in infrared light and they actually realized that there, there were actually really large spiral arms hiding behind all of this hydrogen gas. So as a matter of fact, this is um, a galaxy that's sort of overflowing with energy, overflowing with exploding stars and quite a tremendous amount of star creation and star destruction and recycling of material. So basically, it's a very, very active galaxy. Now, at the same time, it also has a much more massive, um, supermassive black hole at its center, at um, a mass of approximately 30 million uh, masses of the sun, which is approximately uh, eight times more massive than the one in the Milky Way. And um, this galaxy also has some other records, including the brightest neutron star um, or the brightest pulsar we've actually ever detected. And um, so for the most part, because of all of this crazy activity, there's a lot of really interesting, really mysterious things happening here. But this still doesn't really explain what this unusual and very mysterious uh, radio signal is coming from the center we don't really have any explanation for what it is just yet. Uh, it's obviously not aliens because it's just way too powerful and it does have a very natural pattern to it. But um, if it is a black hole, we can't really explain how it's creating so much unusual energy. Normally black holes create a lot of X-ray energy, they create a lot of other higher energy sources, but we've never seen a black hole that produced radio waves. And so, what is causing this is basically a mystery, which is why M82 is actually one of the more unusual, more mysterious, and definitely um, very interesting council of giant um, galaxies that we definitely need to take a look at more and um, hopefully one day discover what's actually happening here. And for all we know, what's actually happening there is something that might um, help us understand the universe even better. But until we actually learn a little bit more about this galaxy, that's kind of all we know. We know that it's a very beautiful galaxy, it's definitely one of the most beautiful neighbors we have. And it's a galaxy that um, definitely has something to share in terms of secrets. 
Until we learn something else, I'm going to stop this video here, and hopefully you enjoyed this, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and maybe even share this video with someone who wants to learn more about space through various simulations and video games. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out, and as always, bye-bye. Oh, and maybe even consider supporting the channel on Patreon, because it does help me quite a lot.